channel. So today we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, I'm not going to be on camera today. <laughs> <clears throat> but what I'm going to show you is how I cool down or cool the tone down on a yellowish, brassy, warm wig with this Gentian Violet. Uh, it's a first aid antiseptic. I got this off of Amazon. I got it in a three pack. Um, it's like a purple liquid. <laughs> so I have this Maya wig by Envy. And this is in the color medium blonde. And it's a very warm toned uh, wig and this is what she looks like. It's a beautiful wig but it's just a little too yellow for me. There's no rooting on this wig. Um, I've never worn it. Well I tried it on and I didn't like the color so I figure worse comes to worse. Um, I can try and tone it down a little bit and at least make it wearable so I've done this with one other wig before, so we are, I want to show you how I go through the process. Sorry, I'm trying to like get this so you guys can see in here, but I think you can. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a little, probably like about, this is like lukewarm water. Probably about like a gallon in this. This little bin came from the Dollar Tree. Now, let me point out, if you have white sinks or a white bathtub, I don't know if I would do this in there. I don't, I don't know if it would stain the sink or not. Um, so be cautious of that. I did, do, I have done it in a stainless steel sink before, and it did not dye the sink. So let's get this bin filled up. I'm gonna put probably a gallon or more of water in here because I want quite a bit of water because I want to make sure that my wig is completely submerged in the water. You don't want any of the wig not to be in the water. Okay, so when you open this bottle up, it just has like a little, you know, stick in there. There's no dropper. But I'm going to put about 15 drops of this in here if possible. So, well, it might not even drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hopefully that'll be enough. I don't really know. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take, you know what, I don't even want to use my hand to swirl that around. I'm just going to take a spoon, I think, because I don't know if I want to stick my hand down in there. Because I honestly don't know if my hand will turn purple. So I'm just going to work that in there. I honestly feel like I should add more because that looks like really light to me. Let's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, so let's just get all of that stirred around in there. And this is probably going to be a couple of days process because once I do this and let it, I'm going to let it set in here. I hope, I hope that's even enough to do anything, to be honest with you. We're going to find out. So I'm going to put it in here. I don't know if that will even be enough. I almost feel like I should add more. But I don't know. One thing um, I do want to point out is I think that my cap, the last time I did this, my cap... You know what, guys? We're going to put more in. And then we'll switch it around. I just don't feel like there's enough. I would say stick, if you're going to use a lot of water, stick the stick in and out of the water at least like 20 times if you're using a lot of a lot of water. Because i got a good gallon or more in here. Okay. See, I feel like that's probably good there. Let me get this off the sink. I have some back behind here too. You do, like if you get some on your sink, you might want to just, you know kind of like make sure it's not sitting in your sink in drops, I guess is what I should say. Okay, so that's that. And see, look at my finger. <laughs> so yeah, be careful if it's on your fingers. It is literally going to turn your fingers. So I would say if you have a white sink, this would be a bad idea. If you have a white sink, bad idea. I would say use this kind of a tub and then I wish I would have taken a before picture. Oh well. Anyway, 
you can already kind of see the colors changing a little bit, you know? Um, so I'm going to leave that soak for probably about 15 minutes or so, and then we will be back. Okay, when we're back, it's been about 15 or 20 minutes now, so I guess I'm going to take it out and see how we are here. Um, and then I'm going to lay it out on this towel here, and of course, we won't really know the true results of whether it colored or not until it dries, but... Um, it doesn't look like it did to an, anything much to the cap. It is a little bit purpley, but it doesn't do anything to the lace. Um, but this is what it's looking like as it comes out of the water. And it definitely looks like it toned it down, for sure. Um, I don't know whether to... I, I guess I probably should rinse this. I can't tell you that if you have any drops... See how, like, that looks like a lot cooler toned now? Um, if you accidentally get any drops of water, or not water, drops of the gentium violet in your stainless steel, it will kind of stain it. So just make sure you don't get the actual drops in there. I don't even think I'm going to rinse this. I think I'm going to leave the stuff in it. Like, I don't want to rinse it because I'm afraid that will just rinse out the color. So this is what she's looking like right now. Um, to me, it definitely looks a lot more toned down. So... I'm going to sit her on a towel, and um, we will come back in a couple of days and see what the color looks like then. So, but this is what she looks like now. I'm just going to set her down um, to dry, and we'll be back in a day or two. Hey everyone, so this is the final result on this wig. Um, I think it looks a lot less yellow. There's still some warmth to it, but it did kind of make the um, really light parts almost like a silvery color. The cap turned a little bit purple on me, just barely. Um, the lace has a little bit of a tint to it, but you, honestly you can't really tell. But I'm outside so you can see the I think it's much more toned down than it was. So if you go back to the beginning of the video and see, I feel like it's a lot more wearable for me now. And it's more like a neutral blonde with some uh, really light highlights now. So that is the after of doing the Gentian Violet.